this. Not now. Not now. Ugh. Three dead bodies and a half a million dollars stashed in the back. Oh god, what am I gonna do? There's only one thing left to do. Oh hi, it's Rob. And you might be wondering how we shot this. And if Trisha would turn around, she can show you the two lights. And that's it. <laughs> we shot this uh, on the spur of the moment in the driveway. Because I wanted to show you guys these new lights that I got. Alright, apologizing a bit for the shaky cam. I'm doing this kind of handheld uh, because I don't have my tripod up here, or at least not the one that I would use for an overhead shot normally. This is the, P the Pixel RGB video light. Uh, this is the light that I got. Uh, and it comes with this. There's a, a foam insert that I didn't put back in. Uh, it comes with a little quarter inch uh, wobbly adapter. You can pose this in quite a few different ways. Uh, USB-C charging cable. Yes, these are rechargeable. And a handy little uh, carrying pouch because it's really nice to be able to toss that in the bag and carry it with you in your backpack. So, uh, and in case you didn't know, I got two. Now I got two because I've done shooting before and I know that two lights are going to work better for me in pretty much any lighting situation than just one. And these were kind of nifty when I saw what they could do and I wanted to get them and have a look. So I'm going to take a little bit closer look at these. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is the weight. These things are completely made of metal. They're the only plastic thing on here are the knobs on the sides and the diffuser plate on the front. The diffuser plate is not removable. Um, that's kind of a good thing because the it does help spread out the light and make it fairly soft and even. Uh, there are controls on the side. There is a dimmer here which um, has detents, but it is a continuous roll, so it's a it's a digital control. And there's another one down here that will scroll through the different functions. And there are a lot of them. I was really surprised. There is also, yes, yeah, so this is nice. This arm swings out, and it's got different mount points on it as well as a hot shoe mount or cold shoe mount, I guess. Uh, there's also a USB-C charging port. As far as I know, this is only a charging port. It doesn't allow for any kind of reprogramming. I'll just plug it into my computer and find out. Yeah, it doesn't register as any... Oh, wait a minute. What did it do? I don't know what it did. No, I think it's just it recognized that something got plugged in. This is, this is only a charging port unless there is something that comes up in the way that I haven't seen yet. Um, and I've used these a little bit, and still a 94% charge. It's really pretty good. Um, so, anyway, there is a power switch on the top. This is a physical slide switch. And it is... I like the physical slide switch rather than an electronic switch because this means that when you turn it off, there is no power draw. It the batteries will remain will retain their charge, besides any leakage current that they have. And generally, with the uh, lithium polymer batteries, which I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, these are these are lithium ion, uh, 3,200 milliamp hours. So there's probably two two cells in here somewhere. I don't know if they're 18650s. I would guess that they're probably prismatic cells, but that's really very nice. All right. First thing, there is the basic video mode is just plain on, and you have the dimmer, so you can dim the light, which is very nice, as well as change the color temperature. So this will go up to an equivalent of 8,500 Kelvin. 
down to 2500 which is a really nice separation and I'm pleasantly surprised at how good these look on camera. Uh, it doesn't have the greenish hue of a lot of warm white uh, LEDs that I've seen before. It's actually it seems to have a fairly good color rendering index so I am I am happily surprised with that. Each of these knobs has a has our yeah these two knobs have a button in the center that changes the settings and then there is a mode set button in the middle uh, go through a little bit of the operation it's one of my favorite things about this is the different things it can do now aside from having just a white light with variable um, temperature uh, color temperature it also can do changing hue and it goes through this entire gamut. Now if you'll remember there's this measurement on the back that goes from 0 to 360 if you look here there is it's at 359 right now and if we pop it up it goes to zero so zero is the equivalent of 360 so if you just turn this it will cycle through these colors oh, I lost my microphone. it also has a saturation control and a dimming so I think for the saturation control you press the center button and if you reduce the saturation it will go to a relative white. Now I think the white in this is a combination of the three LEDs so it's a little bit of purplish light rather than the color but again if you want just a straight white or a straight single color white you can use the just plain color mode and as you increase the color temperature or as you increase the saturation you get a full color. Cool! I like that. The fun part for me is that this comes with effects built in. So right there are three different sets. There's the A set, the B set, and the C set. The A set looks like it is mostly a fire type of um, effect and it's not bad. I think the color is a little bit pale for an actual fire but I think I don't know maybe that's just showing up on camera the camera is probably trying to white balance against it it's it is more colorful than you see it's a it's a yellower yellower color than what you see on on the screen and then there is a <laughs> RGB fade and it will go through that. So by this top one you select the A, B, and C effects. Let me go through this again. And then in the bottom one, this is the police light, you can cycle through Oh, no, this, yeah, the cycles through different ones here. I, there's a lot to do on this. It's really kind of crazy. So the knob here will rotate through the top layer. The button will translate between the bottom ones. So each of these three has three settings. This is the flash. I mean this is a, one kind of flash. This is a different one. And this is one that's just a fairly slow 
changing strobe. This is this is an effect that's it's a slightly changing white. I haven't quite figured out what I would use this for yet. It's it's intriguing, but it's one that I haven't figured out quite yet. And then there's the fade up and down, which looks really weird on camera because it's uh, competing against the other light and auto adjusting. Um, anyway, that's just a quick rundown of the features of this light. I'm really glad I got these. I am impressed with what they can do. Uh, I haven't run them through their paces yet. I suspect that over time, you know, I'll probably have to tighten these up, but they look accessible. I think that's an Allen, Allen key. Uh, most likely, most likely metric. Although it might be Torx, I'm not entirely sure. I can't see it that well. Um, but, you know, they're, they're probably, I don't know, six ounces, something like that. They're, they're not super heavy. You know, they're not, they're not a pound. And they're less than a half a pound, but they're, I think, more than a quarter pound. So I'm going to guess about six ounces might be different, um, as it doesn't really say. But, you know, being able to put two of these in a bag and carry them around in the camera kit really is a nice thing. I mean, I can go on a shoot and have a couple of really decent, versatile lights. You know, they're not they're they're not like Fresnels or anything they aren't any kind of focusable beam for some lights like I have on others but these are I will probably start carrying these in the camera bag because I like them so much if I can find room <laughs> I've got a few things in the camera bag already anyway uh, that's good enough for now I just wanted to post a I guess a kind of a review and show you that these are I actually really, really like these. So I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Pixel RGB video light. Uh, got these off of Amazon. I'll try and put a link in the bottom. And uh, hey, hopefully this uh, helped you out or at least gave you an idea of something I like. <laughs>